Hello, I wanted to take a quick moment just to talk with you guys about the IRB and pretty much just provide a quick definition of what an IRB is. It's an actual administrative body that looks out for the rights and the welfare of your population that you're studying. It also wants to make sure that this population that you're recruiting, the manner in which you're recruiting them is acceptable and appropriate and that it's not going to cause them any long-term harm. Lastly, the IRB is a board that wants to make sure that the activities that are conducted under the auspice of Charisma University and any other university are within its appropriate guidelines. Now, the IRB has the responsibility of reviewing prior to its initiation all research, whether it's funded or not. And in this research always involves human subjects. And they are concerned with protecting the welfare, the rights, privacy of these human subjects as well as their safety. <laughs> the IRB has the authority to approve, they can disapprove, they can monitor, they can request modifications, which is more of what we see. And this in regards to thesis as well as dissertation. They have at least five members of various backgrounds. And this is, well, I'm gonna say they typically have five members of various backgrounds and they, consist of a diverse representation of the population. And this is in order to provide complete and adequate review of the human population and its institution, the legalities, scientific, and any social implications that may arise. This board also includes at least one member who is not affiliated with the institution and one member who may specialize in a particular area, which is the focus of the institution, such as science or social sciences. They also have several consultants who advise the board, which is one of the roles I play. We advise the board and we periodically uh, review the protocols now, there have been some recent changes to the IRB just based on requirements of the more United States focused institutions and the, what's normative for these types of institutions. So we made a few changes and additions and modifications that will best set you up for any potential issues that may arise in the future. We want to make sure that you're protected. So if you have any questions about the IRB, you feel free to reach out to me and I'll make sure that I get you to the correct resource. Thank you again. I'm Dr. Smith and I'll talk to you soon. Onward and upward. <laughs>